Yeah. yeah. So with the flat seizing, you don't need to start with an eye splice. This is a quick seizing. Uh, it can be used for the tails of lines. Um, I actually had uh, had Brad and Casey doing them for the spritzel sheet dead ends. Um, so basically, you have your two strands like you would normally, or your tail of a line folded up against the standing end. You double your strands and put them around one leg of the line that you're seizing, and then pull them through. So you end up with it looking like that. Now it's important that you arrange the line the correct way when you wind it around to the back side, because if you have it arranged this way, as you can see, there is a gap. So you're gonna have a funny little gap there that you're not gonna be able to get rid of. So just as an aesthetic note, twist this on top. It looks wrong initially, but then when you wind it around, it's correct. Um, flat seizing is also very quick to do because you're doing it with doubled strands. Also why I don't want you doing it for heavy load bearing applications because it's not quite as strong. So same thing, spike tight and work these strands to keep them nice and flat as you're doing this and get your thumb on the strands, make sure you don't lose any tension each turn, and work your seizing upwards. Some people work their seizings downwards. It doesn't really make that big of a difference, but if I'm on Lady Washington, you'll be working your seizings upwards. Same thing, you shouldn't be able to feel any sponge in these turns. This takes about half the time a round seizing takes. Once you get to the point where you want to finish your seizing off, <clears throat> the bottom strand is going to wrap around behind the seizing. Top strand is going to go on the opposite side, so they're both facing opposite directions, the tails. And then you're going to work, just like before, you're going to work this down into the crotch. So they both come through from the back? No. no, no. They both go opposite ways. The bottom strand goes around the back. The top strand goes to the top. And same thing, use your marlin spike to work these down so that the top is nice and even and that there's no gaps. Seems picky, but after you've done it a hundred times, you can make that process go quicker and you're going to have a nicer looking seizing. So then, here's a typical case where we have a seizing below it. So these lines, are, these lines below the seizing are super tight. Um, so you're going to have to push your marlin spike through in order to get the strands through. Open them up. And you're going to encounter this in all sorts of situations where you're trying to seize. You're gonna have a line that's super tight, um, even when you're seizing lanyards. So one of the things you can do is put a bite of sand twine on the end of your marlin spike and lever it through. So the writing turns on this one will be created by overhand knot on the bottom, seizing, push your spike through the back side this time to get it out the opposite way, and then you work it up into the crotch. This is where two marlin spikes comes in handy. It might seem a bit excessive, but honestly, it's better than tearing your hands up on the same twine. Uh, 
So same thing with these riding turns. You don't want to be able to move them, even though it's a flat seizing. You want them nice and solid. Top's going to be a lot easier because it's open. It's not under tension. So now you need to keep track of right over left, left over right, because the top of it's going to end up as a reef knot that's buried between the two strands. Cinch that right, right down. And you bring your back strand through again, except this time it's going to be left over right, making your reef knot. Make sure that it sits nicely, that it doesn't twist up here before you cinch it down. And then work it from side to side till the knot's buried right in the middle. And spike tight again. And then to finish this guy off, same thing, except you have two ends coming out, so you need two overhand knots. Put your finger on the standing part, cinch it up until you can't cinch anymore, and then work the overhand knot around until it gets as close as possible to your reef knot. On Niagara, they call these captain's balls. <laughs> And that's your flat seizing, or tail seizing. Snip them off, burn them.